Hey everyone, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Todd Anderson. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, so it is Friday, the day before SCG Cincinnati. Patrick Sullivan, Sergeant Felix, bringing all the action. Yeah, it should it's, be a good time. Yeah, it's good to see Patrick Sullivan back in the booth. Uh, but we are playing some modern, and like I did earlier this week with Todd Stevens, by trying to get double Gideon into play, today I'm trying to get double Eliana. Yeah, new new rules always make for uh, some experimentation processes. So, yeah. Uh, I do I do want to try to get two different kinds of Lilianas in play. Uh, hopefully you don't, though. Just, yeah, I mean... Just because it's... It's it's really good against this deck. Oh, for sure. I mean, I I, <laughs> I played a Jun deck at Worlds a couple of years ago that had three veils, two last hopes, and even back then I was like, well, if you just activate one and Legend Rule and activate the other, you're probably really far ahead. Yeah. Uh, when that's what you're doing with your turns, but now I can just keep them both in play and activate them again the next turn. So I'm excited about that. We are playing a mid range mirror, black green rock verse Soul Mock Special. This is the Soul Mocker <laughs> special. Yeah, he has revitalized the strategy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think Tireless Tracker does a lot in the, the mid game for letting you play these like longer games against fair decks. And, uh, you know, I'm, I was really excited when I played against him at uh, uh, the, the first Invitational of this year, and he just beat the crap out of me with Tireless Tracker. And I was like, oh, man, I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it makes sense. Like, if you don't have, like, Ling Lingering Souls is pretty much the only card that you really want in these mid-range decks. You used to want Lightning Bolt when you played Dark Confident, but now with Fatal Push, you don't really need it. Yeah, and Lightning Bolt just lost a lot of value with Death Shadow becoming like a major player in the format. Yeah, so it makes a lot of sense why you just go straight black green because splashing uh, for white for just a few cards, like sure, you get some upgrades in maybe Stony Silence uh, or Lingering Souls, but that's about it. Path to Exile mm -hmm. is not really that necessary. No, and it, it always feels bad when you have to Path to Exile on like turn two. You know? Exactly. And so. against against like a Death Shadow deck that might have Stubborn Denial, like you just got to do it when you can do it and give mm -hmm. them that extra land. Especially when they're like Colgan's commanding and stuff. Like, that's bad. Yeah, but anyway, it's going to be a grind fest, so let's just get into the games because these are going to be some long games. I hope so. Yeah, well, no, you don't. You want to just uh, run me over. I hope, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, seven eleven. Yeah, sure. That is not. not really. Okay. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, "This is going for a while." Yeah. All right. Well, I can keep this hand. I don't really have anything to pressure the board with. Uh, but it's still going to be a keep. That means I'm going to get hit with a bunch of discard spells. Yeah, at least one. Yeah, uh, my hand's pretty good. We're definitely going to keep it. All right. Well, let's see what you're working with. I got 18. All right. We got a few options here. Lilian of the Veil is a very strong card in these matchups. And, yeah, uh, I'm just going to take the Veil. Leave gets, you with yeah, it gets hit a lot by discard spells. So. Bobble, Death Shadow, and three lands. Yeah. We're going to tomb and two blood save miners. Hopefully, I don't draw anymore. But, uh, your turn. All right. One one reason I do like uh, this version of Death Shadow a little bit better than the Grixis one is the Mishra's Bobble. Uh, like right now, we get to use it to see the top card of our deck, so we know if we want to fetch Shock or not to get rid of it. Uh, card on top, I think I do want. I'll show you guys real fast. Uh, so we're going to Overground? Yeah. Down to 16, and you can take. A lily or an abrupt okay, I'll take lily. Just we're gonna have to fight through the removal spells, and then I'll draw. Yep. Go. Fourteen. Uh, we'll take fatal push, I guess. Actually, yeah. yeah. To off tempo me. Uh, I think we just gotta. Grind through these removal spells. Go to 11 and play this shadow. Yep. Ooh, that was that was a top deck. Yeah, that's that's how you <laughs> lose this matchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your turn. Right, I'm on 11. So he's got two uh, abrupt decays in hand. We don't have that many answers to Liliana and the Veil in our deck, so I think we're just going to lose because he has those two removal spells. 
That is always the worst place to be in a in these kind of matchups where Todd just went Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, Death Shadow, and I have Lily in play. Right, just get all our cards into play, go to nine, take one, play this. Yeah. Go. Hopefully he can't play the other card, so it'll be hard for him to tick up the Lily, but of course he drew land. <laughs> go. Go. Ooh, a creature. Go. Magic's fun for everyone. I'll thank you for two. Yep. Matt, nine. Your turn. Or er, seven. Seven? Yeah. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Five. Your turn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm going to take you off green. Go. Four? Four. I'll just make sure I have a green in case I draw a green card and don't have to oh, take any extra damage. Yeah, yeah. But what if you draw Fatal Push? I'm just going to lose your lands anyway. And you have Lily. I don't know. Okay, is there an out? No. Two. <laughs> Go. Oh no! Oh no! I know. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, we're here for game two, and I'm on the play, and my hand is pretty good. I'm That's not sure not if I want to use this traverse uh, early to make sure I hit land drops. I think I actually do. Um, I, I that means I kind of don't want to use my Mishra's bobble super early, just so I can maybe filter a little bit better. Um, I could use it on Brad and then just cast Thoughtseize on turn one though. I don't know. I, I'm going to keep. You're good, right? Yeah. Now. I mean, this hand isn't good, but in a Thoughtseize Mirror, you just never mulligan right. if you can cast spells. Yeah. Unfortunately, Marsh Flies can't get Stomping Ground, so I can't go get, like, Stomping Ground Traverse for a Swamp. Uh, and I, I guess Black Green into Black is just fine, though, but I think we're just going to do that. Okay. Your turn. So I'm at 17. Swamp off the Traverse. Your turn. I'm going to play. Put. Draw for turn. That was a good one. I think I'm just going to play Tarmogoy. All right. Let's go. So right now it's just a 2 3, but it's going to go to 19 and play Dark Confidant. Sure. So your turn. Alright, so I'm at 17, you're at 19. Ooh, that makes Probably should have used this last turn. Wasn't thinking too much. Uh, thought he's you. Hmm, what do you want? Uh, I guess Maelstrom Pulse. Well, those are good cards, though. Yeah, but you have a big boy. Right. Oh, crap, wrong one. <laughs> <Fail sure. laughs> uh, so it should be 5 6, and I'll attack. So put you to 14. I'm at 15. Yeah, we have instant sorcery, yep. And then I'll so I go to pass and draw 15? off the bubble. 14? Yeah, I got you at 14. And you're at what? Uh, 15. 15? Okay. I guess we can start trying to. I can play Tracker and just take a hit, or I can play this Ooze and try to start fighting what's in play. So I'll pass. Hmm. All right, bubble me. Push your scavenging use. Yeah, I'm I'm in a position where I can't take us off anything, so I guess I'll just eat a creature to gain a life. Alright, so fifteen, then I go to thirteen after I thought each you. Ugh. Uh since we know the top card of our deck, uh actually, so if he plays Lily on next turn, what he can't really do much with it, right? 
And I can just tick it up and keep it from dying per turn. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really want him to get a clue, but I think that uh, taking Lily is more important. So we'll just take Lily and because if you drop, if you go, dogs. if you draw a fatal push, yeah, yeah. If you draw a fatal push, that'd be bad. So, mm -hmm. uh, so thirteen, and you're at nine. Do you know the type? Did you draw off your bobble? No, I did. Okay. <laughs> well, this is not good for me. I think I am going to lose this game. Me too. At least I hope so. I have no idea what to do. I just drew a blank. I think I just have to. When you have two. I just have to hope you just get stuck on lands or something. Clue, your turn. Well, I'm stuck on lands, so you got half of it right. All right. Three. I'll go to eleven. Cast my thoughtsies. All right, and then just dismember your creature. Go to seven. Yep. Your turn. And I'm at three. Yep. All right, go. I think I just want to play another Tarmogoyf and not attack into a Hissing Quagmire. Seems good. <laughs> yeah, go. All right. It doesn't look, I mean, he's get, he gets to pop the clue no matter what, so. Draw, decay. Go. Okay, we'll go to... Five, I guess. Go. I feel good right now, actually. Yeah, Quagmire's kind of annoying. Turn my move. Sure. Go. I'll go to four. I'm actually going to play my land, because if I draw another one, then I can just take the two quagmires, and things have to be interrupted. Yep. I uh, don't know if I have another swamp in my deck. I want to check real quick. No, you don't. Okay. figure I might, since I have the... Uh, the. Yeah, I don't. That's nice. My deck only plays one basic. All right. I will play Lily and Minus. Okay. Oh. Animate sack. Yep. And you're at what life total? Four? Four. I should hold this then, in case I want to take up next turn. Yeah, if I want to, like, tectonic edge. That too. I don't know how I got so far behind in this game. <laughs> Hizzy Quagmire is annoying. I'll attack you. So at four? Or I'm at five? You're at four. At four. I said you're at four. He's at four, right? Four to... Uh, I think... Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I fetched EOT. Yeah, you fetched the water. I'm pretty sure four. four. Yeah. Um... I think I so I mean he 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 paused like thinking about attacking with Tarmogoyf, so I'm pretty sure he has a two drop he's about to play, and that means I'm probably gonna lose. So I think, actually, I think I'm just dead. I don't think there's a draw, but I'll just take that and you go to two. Yep. Go. Okay. So now when if I draw a fatal push or a Liliana or something, oh, yeah, you already shuffled. You didn't. Well, we're still alive. That's good. I'll uh, we'll traverse and play a Death Shadow. Yeah, and then tick up. Yep. Discard my March Flex. Rough. Well, if you draw my spell, I'm dead too, right? And I did. Edict. Stub you. Shoot. <laughs> so now I'm dead. 
No, you can block block. No. Oh, yeah, because I have this. Wings. Okay. Yeah, you are dead. Yay! Yeah, because if I attack you, you just trade and then eat that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man. That was a close game. That was sweet. All right, well, I don't sideboard that much on this side. I'm just going to be taking out my Kalidus since it's not great in this matchup. <laughs> and sure. bringing in uh, Mass Removal Effect and another Mouse and Pearls. Pretty much the only things that I have access to. I could try to get Todd with some, like, Shadow of Doubts, but that just seems wrong <laughs> enough in a Hand Disruption yeah, matchup. Yeah, that, that seems way more for, like, Gifts Ungiven. And Scape Shift. And Scape Shift, yeah. Uh, my side, we're, we're basically just cutting Summon it, now. It's Ross in your hand a little bit. Like, obviously, we saw in Game 2... Uh, it was able to uh, win me the game on the last turn, but if it had been uh, just like a removal spell or a more powerful proactive spell, mm -hmm. like I would have been in a lot better shape. Um, and when you're ticking up on Liliana of the Veil or in a matchup where your opponent has Liliana of the Veil, oftentimes your opponent will use the Lily to tick up. It'll be the last card in hand, and then you won't be able to use it anyway. So uh, we're going to be a little more proactive, uh, a little more resilient with uh, Lingering Souls against his removal spells and another Planeswalker. And then we're just going to board out the blue mana source and one Inquisition. Dang. All right, well, I'm here on the play again with a very mediocre hand. But like I said before, you just you don't mulligan in these matchups. Just because I don't have the nuts doesn't mean I have to go searching for it. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of times your hand gets kind of picked apart. Either you're mm -hmm. playing discard spells or they are or both. And like you, whoever just ends up with the last resource usually comes out on top. Uh, I don't have a play on one, which I don't like. Uh, but I, I think my hand is, is really good for the matchup. Go. Okay. Um. What's your thoughts? See, so we'll just go ahead and go to 15 and cast it. I get an overgrown tomb. Or maybe we should get blood crypt. Uh, so Brad's hand doesn't have another land, but he has a couple of powerful cards. Uh, we don't want to bother with the removal spells right now. We'll just take uh, Liliana of the Veil seems more problematic than Last Hope at the moment, so we'll take that. Alrighty. All right, your turn. Um. Just go get a swamp, and I guess I mean I might as well. Play this and just start ticking it up, even if there's an abrupt decay in my future. I don't want to tick it down right away. Uh, we're going to take six. Okay. I'll put us to nine. I'll play Decay and Death Shadow. Alright. I guess I just pulse that. Uh, one thing I, I saw in your hand, you saw it Slaughter Pact in your deck, and I, I think it's Important to board that out against the Grixis version because they have uh, oh, for sure. they don't have Tarmogoyf, but in this matchup it's certainly fine because Tarmogoyf is so good. All right, so nine to you still at twenty or you're nineteen? Nineteen. Okay. I don't really want to play this yet. I think I'm just going to play Lingering Souls. Sure. If you play Scavenging Ooze here, that would be annoying, but... Um, Inquisition. Okay. Maybe I should have got Lily into play. Yeah, I will take Lily and leave you with Terminate, Push, and a Traverse in your turn. There's a small chance he's sandbagging a land for Damnation. Uh, I kind of want him to go ahead and cast Damnation, though, so I can traverse for something. My hand is a little lackluster. Maybe I just want to just be done with Spirits and not worry about flashing it back yet. Uh, could go ahead and cast Traverse and just have let to spend less mana later on. All right, I'll just use it and go get a Death Shadow. There you go. 
Mm, I think I have to just pull the trigger on this. No fetch land, but it still gives me two for one. Yep. Your turn. Alright, now we get to see what's up, I guess. Oh no! That's really bad. We're gonna go seven. I mean, you know what's up. Right. Yeah. Uh, go to five, play this okay. flashback. Oh, phase. you get both? Oh, well, that was half decent. You're at five, though? Mm hmm. Oh, well, we can't let you do that. If I want to deal with everything, I can't do that. Five, though, is like puts me at half life, but then it puts you at like pretty much attritioned out. Yep. Oh, gross. Go. <clears throat> oh, that sucked. Nine. Seven. Or seven, yeah. So you're eight. at ten. No, I was five. at fifteen. Oh, you're at fifteen? And how much oh, is right, that? Oh, right, right, it's eight. Sorry, I'm you're at five. You're at five, so yeah. it's eight. Yeah, I go to seven. Add you at fifteen? Yeah. yeah. Seven. All right. No! I might want to just play around uh, another Milton Poles. Like, I've already gotten rid of two, I think. Or has it just been one? Maybe. I have the slaughter pack. Oh, right, duh. Yeah, if you I didn't that... write your hand down, sorry. Alright, well, yeah, we'll play around Slaughter Pack. But... Yeah, I mean... And with Fatal Push, it just kills me. Right? Now nah, we're dead. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, uh, this, is, this is what a Jun player wants. And uh, this is what this Jun player needs. You ain't playing Jun. Well, it's... You playing the rock. In the Jun heart. In John Hart. Yeah. John Strong. You don't have to talk about your hand. I can just see it. Cool. Well, my hand was great. I missed on a second land, but uh, two pieces of one-man interaction uh, on the draw. That's actually pretty good against me. Actually, I probably want to cycle this in response. No, you don't. Because if you take it, I might not hit a land. I can't take it. That's why. Oh, I... yeah. Duh. Never mind. All right. Still 2020. Hmm. Inquisition. No, I might not take that. Your hand's actually really good against mine. Yeah. I know. It's like I have Thought Season, Fatal Push, and a bunch of creatures. Hmm. I don't know what to do anymore. I wanted this hand <laughs> to be easy. I just wanted to play Bob and draw cards. That's all I wanted. Well, yeah. It's whatever I you can't wants do, to do that. plays Bob. So I can take Fatal Push, which forces his hand with this. Yeah, true. Which is pretty fine with me, actually. I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. Uh... Well, now you can Street Wraith, right? Because if you hit a... Like, me by doing that means I have Bob, which means Dark Confidant. So, which means, like, if you... Unless that's another Fatal Push, because you've got Thoughts he's delayed. I'm still just going to do it. Without Street Wraithing? Yeah. Yeah, because you drew a removal spell. Oh, but you might... No, you probably drew a land. All right, I will cycle street right before I cast. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I should have. I don't know why I didn't. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll take, we'll, we'll take Liliana. <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> yeah, we'll All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm at thirteen. Go. Yeah, we'll push it. Yeah. Uh, go. Oh my god. Alright, Thoughtsies. Take the lily, I guess. Go. I'll be going. No, you, you're go. This is just, just go. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking if I oh, want to okay. crack. I don't want to take that much damage this game. What What do I know is in your hand? Nothing. Okay. Oh no, you know, you know of uh, Tectonic Edge. All right, I'll just go to 12. Okay. Get overgrown to him. My uh, Death Shadow won't be as big if I draw one, but I think that's okay. Uh, 
guess I don't need a shortcut right now. So right now I'm at 18. Okay. So you're, you're at 18, at I'm at 12. All right, 18 to 12 right now. Yep. And what are you doing with that stomping? Just going to hold it, I think. All right, I'm going to 17 and fetching and putting this play to out. Okay, 17, 12. Go. I think it's up five six. Five six, I think. Okay, attack five. Yep, twelve. Uh, go to ten. Play lingering souls. Hope you don't have a damnation. What? Where are you going? I'm gone. <laughs> Taking my toys <laughs> off. I'm gone home. <laughs> All right, so here for the final game, even though I'm just already dead and defeated, and uh, <laughs> that's the kind of videos people want to watch. Brad Don't not they? caring. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thoughtsies. All right, in response, I let it happen. All right, you're at eighteen. All right, two hand disruption spells. I guess I'll take. And that deck is just better than this deck. That's the reason why this deck got really popular is because it was basically Jund or Black Green or whatever. But yeah. Could, yep. It never flooded out. Yep, that's that's what I'm figuring out in this video. <laughs> all right. It only uh, took you a year. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll take that Inquisition and make you lose two life before you win. Oh, thanks. Actually, I like taking the damage, eh? Uh, we're going to do this before we... In your double street race, right, double fetch shock hand. <laughs> So, 17. You don't have to do both. You should do one first in case your top deck was Mishra's Bobble. That's reasonable. <laughs> you act like I haven't played this deck before. <laughs> it is kind of my jam. All right. Uh, 13. Mm -hmm. 11. <laughs> Hmm. I guess just Liliana, the last hope. Your turn. But that was my last hope. Yeah, I know. All right. We'll go get a forest and play Tarmogoyf in your turn. And that's going to drop me to 17. So I know his last card in hand is Tarmogoyf, so I think I can just play my No, own. it isn't. It's in play. Or Maelstrom Pulse. So I can just oh, play yeah. Tarmogoyf, and then you can't really do different much. Different arts, different one. pulses. Yep. I don't know if you knew that that's how the rules Ten worked. To 17? Yeah. That's it. Another Goyf Dismember Lingering Soul. Take the Dismember. Okay. And. Wait, how big How big was it before that? Do we have a 5 6 yet? If we had. I guess it's a 5 6 if the Dismember gets cast, but then you still kill it. Yeah, whatever, I'll take that. Version... It would be the instant that would make it a 5-6. I have a Lily over here. Yeah, but why would it kill it? It like wouldn't kill block. it, but if you attack and I block and you dismember it, sure, it'll still kill it. Okay. All right, that's in the graveyard. I'm at 15. Okay, uh, I'll go to 7. We'll play Winger Souls. <laughs> hmm. What is this whole thing about flooding? I don't know, man. All right. That's your side of the table. Yeah, your turn. <laughs> hmm. Attack. Yeah, 13. I'm going to go to four... Play this and flashback layer souls. I'll go to twelve. I don't like I don't like taking so much damage here. Do you really flashback souls? Yeah. I mean I I don't care which one of these you pulse. Okay. And like pulse is gonna have a good target if and I, I want to progress my board based on the card I do, so all right, kill all your spirits. Yeah, they're all gone. Your turn. Gotta find my blood crypt. Do you have a removal spell? Uh, 
I'm dead if you have a removal spell. No, you're at 13. And they're only I'm five. at 12. Well, they're still only fives, right? All right, I'm at nine. <laughs> Why? I don't have a removal spell yet. All right, well, then I'll go back to, t to 11 if you don't kill me. I drew the removal spell. All right, I'm at nine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm at nine. <laughs> Fine, I'm at 11. You're so weird. All right, attack. Block. All right, post combat minus. <laughs> Yeah, see that was You're good. on a lily still. Yeah, I know. But you're you're in the game. <laughs> I don't think I am. You're in you're in the game. Minus Alright, go. <sighs> and I'm at You're at eleven. And I'm No, because you attacked me for five, so I'm at six. Oh yeah, you are at six. Six to four. Sounds so Tack. painful. Well, this has been it's been a rough video. I've just been getting destroyed. You, mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's right. Your turn. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we played this out. You're not going to take the damage? I'm just going to respond to my brother's text message. Oh, is this like uh, one of those things where if you're on Magic Online, you're getting beat real bad, and then you just make your opponent wait for 10 minutes? Yes. Oh. All right, cut. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the Sol read, and that's Sol? this deck isn't that good. I mean, I, I don't want to say it's not that good, because I think it is a reasonable choice. Uh you know, going into a, an open modern format. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't know if it's better than just a good Death Shadow deck. I don't think it is. Like, I, there, there's been arguments that, you know, certain versions of Black Green X are decent against Death Shadow, but mm -hmm. without access to stuff like Terminate, like... Well, that felt very convincing. Yeah. It, it, it actually felt extremely convincing. You flooded a lot. I did, but also just, like, your cards felt better. I mean... Fair. Uh, I, I don't know how... I, I would like to play, like, the Grixis version of Death Shadow against this to see how it is, because Saul beat the crap out of me at the end of the game. <laughs> Did he? He beat me bad. Like, yeah. we would get down to, like, you know, basically neither of us have anything, but he has, you know, like, uh, two to four trackers, uh, four yeah, Liliana sure. the Veil, just, like, bet, you know, four scavenging ooze, mm -hmm. like, all these cards that just are so good in top deck that situations. True, yeah. And in, in your spot, like, you know, you were losing to, uh, like, me drawing my... Two of Liliana the Veil or whatever. I'm just sad that besides game one, I wanted to get both Lilianas into play and I could just not get any into play. I just couldn't do anything. I just got destroyed. He wanted me to play this deck. Just so you all know. Well, of course I did. Well, it was either that or Smallpox. So. Yeah, I did not want to play against Smallpox. <laughs> but uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm defeated. All right, I'll, I'll be back I'll take, next, no, I'll I'll take it from here, y'all. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to head over to StarCGames.com and sign up for Premium. Uh, if you sign up for premium, you get access to this video the day it comes out, so it's not uh, super old by the time you watch it, which is actually really important for <laughs> upcoming Magic events. Come on, man. You're ruining my feel. I don't like doing this either. <laughs> uh, but if you sign up for SCG Premium, uh, not only do you get to watch these videos as they come out, you also get access to all the great minds in the game on StarCityGames.com. to find website giving you all the information you need for your tournaments each weekend. Uh, aside from that, this weekend we got uh, SCG Cincinnati. going to have Cedric Phillips and Patrick Sullivan bringing you guys 15 rounds of modern action followed by Top 8 where we will crown not you as a winner. Harsh. <laughs> well, you started it. That was brutal. Yeah. Well, next week on the Versus Series, we're also not going to be playing Thought Seasons, and we're just going to play, like, I don't know, Scape Ship or Storm. Yeah. Just whoever Just does it first. Uninteractive magic. Whoever does it first. We, we went full interaction next week. No interaction. No interaction. No interaction. Well, I'll have four white ley lines in my main deck. Yeah. Didn't That's somebody a, do that? Oh, no, Ad Nauseam does that. Well, I, I've seen those, like, Mono White Enchantment Nykthos decks that play mm. four ley lines take the main deck. Those are cool. All right, I'll play that. No. And you can play Storm. No, I don't want to play against it. I feel like that's only fair. You just said no interaction. The deck has a lot of interaction. 
Not really. Yeah, it does. Or maybe not. Anyway. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the very series of StarCGames.com. For Brad Nelson, I'm Todd Anderson. We'll see you next week.